Welcome back, horror family. As horror fans, we love to create fantasy mashups between our favored monsters. For years, we called for the epic battle between Jason and Freddy to appear on screen. Finally, after a long time in developmental hell, following various script rewrites and ownership juggled among production companies, we received a movie that was met with divided opinions amongst fans. A question I put forth to you all is why have two legends of horror battle? I think a major flaw in Jason vs. Freddy and others like it is that when you have two villains facing each other, the plot inadvertently changes the antagonist to protagonist. My idea is to place some unsuspecting innocence into the grinder with horrendous evil at one side and an unstoppable killing machine at the other. This fictional scenario would involve two of horror's most notorious psychopaths, Michael Myers and Leatherface. Let me first establish which incarnation of these forces I would choose, since as many of you know, there are a few out there. My idea is that Michael Myers, following the events of either Halloween 1 or Halloween 2, has been successfully captured and placed in a maximum security hospital for the criminally insane. This facility happens to be one where Leatherface, or Jedediah Sawyer from Texas Chainsaw 3D, a newly released Leatherface film, is serving a sentence in complete isolation. I chose Jed Sawyer as my Leatherface because with the newest Leatherface backstory, which received help and applauded by the late Toby Hooper, creates a continuity with the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre film and continues on with Texas Chainsaw. To establish a storyline and assist with moving the plot, we will introduce an individual in the facility who may have been put there under false circumstances by either a crooked judge or a bad lawyer. A distraught family member attempts to break them out. This will be a useful thread as we can follow these characters throughout the film as one of our primary storylines and have created sympathy for individuals who are put into this terrible situation. This failed escape attempt though may sound like a redundant concept, but then again, what story isn't, causes a riot and a shutdown whereby some device the patients inside are released. Now we witness a mixed story following possibly a group of hospital staff, visitors, and the characters introduced who started this situation, trapped in a large hospital full of very disturbed individuals with Michael Myers at one wing of the building and Leatherface in another. Instead of pitting them against each other, this would place them both as antagonists of evil, menacingly murdering individuals and stalking those trapped who narrowly escape one only to run into the grasp of the other. Imagine the carnage with the dark shape of Michael slowly stalking nurses and doctors through the shadowy halls, while at the other end you have the lurching Leatherface with his scarred bearing, pulling apart orderlies and other patients by the limbs. Now the issue would be, how do you get the infamous chainsaw into the hands of Leatherface and the seminal mask and butcher knife to Michael? I think that these ingredients could be absent throughout most of the film. As I stated before, the dark, slow-paced shape of Michael and the janitor suit he takes, combined with his movements and shadowy face, would speak for itself. The white shirt, quick screenshots of a scarred face, and brooding body language would easily identify Leatherface as the menacing figure we know. The ending could leave room to add the coup de grace to their archetypal look. After the macabre has subsided and everyone is dead, we see Michael leaving the back of the institution, and at the bottom of the stairs, find a police evidence bag with his items of legacy. Leatherface could be breaking out a window and heading into the woods surrounding the building, only to find a shiny chainsaw near a tree in the distance, then a cutscene to a shadowy figure donning a black trench coat and hat, entering a car in the parking lot, driving away. The important factors would be to keep the dark atmosphere and serious tone that many felt was missing from Freddy vs. Jason. Also, not having them as adversaries prevents a shift in the film. My idea is to keep completely away from altering the monster's image of fearful emissaries of horror into guardians of the innocent by battling each other. I want them both to be the shape of hell that the characters meet at every turn. 
I think that a House of Horror scenario with two of the genre's most insane figures locked in a building with unsuspecting victims everywhere would be much more enticing than watching a battle royale that has the guaranteed potential of being overly campy with goofy aspects. The terrified screams of victims would fill the halls, preserving these monster status as forces to be reckoned with. What do you think of the Hell in the Box concept? Comment in the section below and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay scared.